Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I thought I would just film a super chilled, super casual, get ready of me style video. And I also asked you guys some questions on Instagram. So I just said, ask me kind of anything you want because I wanted to film a kind of Q&A video. So I'm just gonna be in this video doing my makeup super casually and answering your guys' questions. Guys's? Is that a word? I don't think so. But yeah, I've got a few questions to answer from my Instagram story. So yeah, let's just get straight on into the video. I'm not really gonna be doing this as a kind of tutorial style, more like a get ready with me. So if you wanna know the products, I guess I'll just list them down below because I'm not really gonna be talking through the actual products in this video. Okay, so the first question I have is someone asked me why did I decide to leave Clarins? I actually used to work for Clarins, which if you didn't know, is a huge skincare company. I used to work for them when I was like 18 to 20. I actually used to be a therapist, so I used to do like massages and facials, and I worked there for two years, and I absolutely loved working for them. They're such a good company to work for. I worked for them in John Lewis, but the reason I decided to leave was basically because I realised I was more interested in makeup than I was in beauty. I originally trained in college to do beauty therapy, um, and then I went on to do makeup, and then I kind of realised after doing two years in beauty therapy job that I preferred doing makeup. So yeah, that's basically why I left Charlotte Tilbury, because in Charlotte Tilbury I was just doing facials and massages, Whereas I really wanted to do makeup, which is then why I moved to work for Charlotte Tilbury. Which brings me nicely onto my next question because someone asked me why did I leave Charlotte Tilbury and do I have any regrets? So basically, I worked for Charlotte Tilbury for two years. No, it wasn't two years, I'm lying. It was about a year and a half, probably about just over a year and a half. The reason why I chose to work for Charlotte Tilbury is because at the time they were, well, they still are one of my favourite kind of makeup brands in terms of products. Like I really loved their products. I really loved how it was a very sort of makeup focused brand and how they did a lot of makeovers on counter and yeah I overall just really liked the brand the brand was a really attractive brand to work for for me so yeah I was super happy when I got the job for working for Charlotte Tilbury I started off as a retail artist which is basically just a normal kind of sales associate slash makeup artist so all of the people that work for Charlotte Tilbury are makeup artists but you kind of get different levels and usually if you've got no kind of experience in makeup before you go and work for the counter they will just put you in as a kind of retail artist which is the lowest standard of makeup artist but every makeup artist that works with Charlotte Tilbury is really good so it kind of yeah anyway that was my role name I absolutely loved working for Charlotte Tilbury for that kind of portion of my life it was honestly amazing I met some amazing people I had some amazing training um, I learned so much about their products I just had a really good time so after I'd been there for about six or eight months I think it was roughly around that sort of time I actually got promoted to be a lead artist which is the kind of next artist up there was only about three or four lead artists per counter and we had a team of about 20 at the time so it's quite a good achievement like I was really proud to be lead artist at the age of 20 as well it's quite a good achievement to have made yeah I'm not really going to go into too much detail why I actually left there was kind of a bit of um, foul play not foul play what would be the right terminology to use there was basically just a switch up in my team we got a few new team members which I didn't really get along with as such and kind of ruined my experience working for them in my particular store that I was in yeah so basically the answer to that question is no I don't really regret leaving Charlotte Tilbury I love the products I do like the brand but overall I'm a lot happier in what I'm doing now for sure. I actually just started using the NARS concealer again the other day. I've been obsessed with my Too Faced Born this way for like the longest time and I just haven't actually wanted to pick up anything else ever since I discovered that concealer but I wanted to kind of change up what I was using and I sort of rediscovered this in my collection and I actually forgot how like wicked this concealer is okay so i'm just gonna do my eyes now i'm gonna use this um this is the modern renaissance palette from anastasia i've literally had this for so long and i've never used it i don't actually know why because this looks such a nice palette like the colors in here are really up my street so that's what i'm gonna use today so someone asked do i get sent any products the answer to that question is basically no i've been sent a few bits here and there before like from smaller brands for example technique which you can find in Superdrug, i believe they sent me quite a lot of their stuff before i have been sent like a few like lashes kind of here and there from brands but no kind of big brands have really sent me things to be honest and I don't really expect them to because my channel is still very very small and my views are not always consistent so brands are not really looking for kind of channels like that to send products to so 
the answer to that question is no pretty much like literally 99 percent of all the products i use on my channel or my instagram have been bought with my own money sometimes when i've like worked for brands for example obviously i worked for shark tilbury i worked for clarins you do get given quite a lot of products for free when you work for these brands so if i've ever used um some shark tilbury products it's kind of likely that I would have got a couple of them for free like whilst I worked for them or on discount. They've only ever been for the purpose of like working for the brand and kind of like a an incentive to work for the brand I guess. Okay so I just did off camera like this little smoky outer corner moment. I just wanted to concentrate because I can't really talk and concentrate on that kind of thing at the same time. The next question that someone asked me is do I have any Botox or any lip filler and I can't even tell you how many times I get asked this question on Instagram mostly and also in real life and the answer to that question is no I don't have anything I don't have any kind of filler or Botox in my face whatsoever I did go through a massive phase in my life where I really really wanted to get my lips done like really badly to the point where I actually was like this close to booking it but I then kind of realized that a it's a lot of money to just get a little bit of filler put in your lips b I don't really like that fake look quite a lot of the time I pretty much can tell every single time someone's had their lips done I just know they've had their lips done and I don't mind the look of it but for me personally I just didn't want to have that kind of fake lip look and also I just realised that my lips are fine like my lips are actually fine the way they are like I really don't need lip filler so yeah I basically just didn't get them done and I haven't had them done ever but I often get people that ask me this question I think mostly because my top lip naturally has this like way of kind of poking out and my lips aren't exactly like thin so I think people just automatically assume that I've had them done and often, like I can't even tell you how many people have messaged me on Instagram and asked me have I had my lips done and the answer to that question is in fact no, I've never had my lips done. Okay so my eyes are done, I just wanted to jump off camera because I couldn't really concentrate. I just used the Ardell Demi Wispies as my lashes. I feel like I've done a proper old school kind of blown out smoky eye, like I feel like this is how everyone used to do their eye makeup back in the day. Okay so someone also asked are you in a relationship and the answer is yes I am. I met my boyfriend back in November of last year kind of like midway through November and yeah we've been pretty much inseparable ever since so yes I do have a boyfriend. Okay so actually my favourite question that I got asked out of all of them someone asked me how did I find the confidence to start a YouTube channel basically in a nutshell the answer to that question is I kind of found the confidence by over time just telling myself that what people think doesn't actually really matter like for example if you get too caught up in thinking about what people are going to think of you in a negative light you'll never do anything because people are always going to have a negative opinion on what you do whether you do what you want or not in my opinion I would say just go for it try not to th overthink about what your friends and family and people that you know are going to think of you and if they're going to laugh at you if you're, they're going to think you're stupid like literally just don't basically give a shit about their opinion because people are going to have their opinion and who really cares about it the majority of people that watch your channel are going to watch it because they enjoy you they enjoy your content they like you as a person even though you are probably going to at some point receive some sort of hate or negative comments or just people kind of thinking badly of you if you like it doesn't actually matter like that doesn't their opinion doesn't matter to your life if it's something that you want to do because you feel like you're going to enjoy it and you're going to like it as a, like, a little hobby and it's kind of something that you've always wanted to do but you haven't done it because you're scared of what people think then that is just overall a really silly way of thinking like you should literally just do what the hell you want to do in this life and who really gives a shit what people think so that is pretty much how I got the confidence to actually post videos online because I kind of came to the conclusion that I don't actually give a shit what people think and if people don't like my content then they don't have to watch it it's as simple as that bronze always mucks up my hair like look at my hair now it looks like shit okay so someone said where is your favorite place you've ever been to i guess they mean in the world and the answer to that is definitely mexico so i went to mexico about a year and a half ago now and it was just amazing like mexico is just one of those places where i feel like everyone would enjoy mexico because how can you not it's mexico but yeah i'm not a very well traveled person i've definitely got so much more traveling that i want to do in my lifetime and i haven't really been to that many kind of exotic places or that many places in general but at the moment mexico is definitely the best kind of place I've ever been to the most beautiful and and yeah I really really enjoyed going to Mexico I definitely want to go back okay so someone said tell me about Revitalash because I recently posted a post on my Instagram where I basically said in the description that I'm using Revitalash at the moment which if you didn't know is basically a lash growth serum and I have been having such positive results from that product it's been helping my lashes grow 
so so much so basically it is quite a bit well it is very expensive for a lash serum it's i think i paid about 70 pounds but i did actually get it on a little bit of a discount from the store that i work in so i think it's usually about 80 pounds or 90 pounds and you get three mil of product for that amount of money which is literally like you'd think it's daylight robbery but actually the product really really works and my lashes have grown so incredibly long from using that product like i was using it pretty much every single night for about three weeks and all of a sudden nothing was really happening like for the first kind of week to two weeks like nothing was really happening i was kind of thinking like have i just wasted my money and then all of a sudden just literally out of nowhere my lashes just started sprouting out like i just had the longest lashes that i've ever had yeah if you want your lashes to basically be longer stronger thicker more conditioned more healthy or you've just had like eyelash extensions come off and your lashes are looking a bit shit treat yourself to revital lash because it's such a good product and honestly it works so so well it's definitely worth the money if you can afford it it's definitely worth the money it does actually work i am obsessed with it okay so i'm just going to do some lip liner this is the pillow talk number two shade from Charlotte Tilbury. So for lipstick I picked out the Charlotte Tilbury Miss Kensington lipstick. I haven't used this in ages. I've forgotten what the shade is like. Oh that's really nice. I literally have so many lipsticks I just don't even use them. So I'm really trying hard to like switch out which ones I'm actually using because I just always use my Kim KW and call it a day. Just gonna whack a bit of clear gel through my brows. Okay guys, so that is the finished look and the finished video. Thank you all for submitting your questions. It was really helpful and really fun to answer them all. If you don't already, please go and follow me on Instagram because I'm trying to post on there every single day. Um, throughout this kind of isolation period, I'm just trying to keep myself really busy and trying to grow my social media in the meantime. So yeah, definitely go and follow me over on there because I'm definitely a little bit more active on there than I am on YouTube just at the moment. Also, if you have any more questions you want me to answer, just leave them in the comments box below and I can definitely answer those when I end up getting around to filming another Q&A video. If you did enjoy this style of video please do give the video a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't already that would be amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!